somewhere in the USA, in a not so distant future. Hi, my name is Max Burton, and I want to make games. New intern, I presume? Well, yes. Hmm, Burton, Burton. Oh, here's your ID. Just use the elevator to get to where you should be. Okay, thanks. All right, so good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing the secrets of a tumultuous corporation. So, as you can see, it's a very uniquely aesthetic game. So, let's just get right into it. So, our goal is to use the elevator. But uh, I guess let's look around for a bit. Look at elevator, inventory. It's an automated elevator connected to an ID authorization system. I have to show up my ID, I guess. Okay, so that's how this works. Welcome. On your first day in Tremendous Corporation, the only company to experience constant growth since 2015, allowing us to make not 10, not 10,000, but much more gains annually, leading to 100% gaming market penetration. When you think games, you mean Tremendous Corporation and our broad portfolio of entertainment solutions. We hope your brief internship in our company will be a pleasant one. Thank you and have a nice day. Neat. I did not expect um, a voice intro, a lost badge. Uh, yeah, let's do it. It says, ask me about Super du Derpy. No thanks, I don't want people asking me about Super Derpy. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the same thing. Hmm. Let's uh, take the book. I find it interesting that the. Uh, I guess I could borrow it for a little while. There's a little hiccup every time that I click on something. Oh, does it actually just like pause? I'm busy, leave me alone. I'm working. Don't bother me. So rude. Production line. I'd rather stay away from that for now. I haven't got my health and safety training yet. I mean, that's smart. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's continue on. Graphics. <laughs> hmm. Something has me a little worried. I like the no smoking though. Smoking's bad for your health. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, gum. Hell yeah. I'll just pick one stick. Why is gum the cheapest fucking thing ever? But every motherfucker asks for a piece? I don't get it. It's like buy your own goddamn gum. I can't reach it. Hmm. Thanks, but I already had my morning coffee. Excuse me. There was never an excuse for too much coffee. And that's a fact. Um, chewing gum, game design for dummies. Hmm. Maybe this big book and is and heavy, but I don't think that's anything more than that. Oh, I was thinking maybe you throw it at it? Hmm. Really? That's it? What the hell do I do now? Go away, you're starting to damage my con. Go away, you're starting to damage my con. 
I don't care. I'm busy. Leave me alone. Am I by chance missing something? Hey, are you that new intern? Oh, there we go. Yep, ready to make some games. Great, make me some coffee then. Oh, okay. Actually, fun fact. Um, I don't know if this is true in every part of the world, but um, at least where I am, it's actually illegal. Um, it's not working to hire an intern and not pay them, but make them do manual tasks like coffee ones and shit. Um, if you hire an intern, you have to have them uh, doing work experience. That would be, hey, it's not connected. That's uh, involved in their field. Let me connect the plug. So for example, if you hire someone to be um, testing games and what the fuck? What do you mean by I don't know where the secret is? Tell us now, Rebellion, is the only chance to get good games back. Damn, they know nothing. Without knowing the secret, we'll never be able to give gaming back to its former glory. Maybe the ad in newspaper will help us. Guys, that's all. What the heck was that? Secret? What are they talking about? Gaming's former glory? Rebellion? I'm confused. Maybe there's something in the papers. I must check it out. What the actual fuck is going on with this game? What a nice rope. Um. Hmm, well, rope alone won't really help you. Oh, I do have an inventory. Here we go. Sometimes afraid of my genius. Oh. Hell yeah, we got it. Damn, darn, it slided. If only I had something sticky. I got you. Sadly, it's not sticky. Well, it was certainly a fresh uh, maker. I don't see a trash can here. I'll just put it into my pockets. Ew, that's gross. But hey, I guess it does the job. Well, sometime, someone said that every puzzle has an answer. All right. Bam, it worked. Oh, is that it? Um, uh, there we go. Hmm. Scientist question for involvement in the tentacle incident. Oh, what an interesting ad. Do you want to fight tremendous court? Join the indie rebel. Uh, call now. I'd say it's a bit intriguing. Well, I guess we can, um, call. Oh my god, they stole everyone. Does that mean we're gonna get paid more? Yep, 
a lost badge. Maybe we can pick this up now? No thanks, I don't- ugh. Okay, I'd rather stay away from that for now. I haven't got my health in- What do you mean? Oh, did I click on the assembly line? Oh, it's... Oh. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of a weird to fit a wish. Um, reception. Hey, software development room. Honestly? You're right at the software development room. I'd ex Oh, that's what I was already on. Let's go back to reception. You know, you, I'm, I'm intrigued about this game so far. Oh, it's you again. I told you already, I'm busy. It's urgent. I need a call right now. I don't have time for this. Someone kidnapped a whole floor of employees. Well, this prank isn't funny, you know. I don't know who would fall for such a bad joke. Um, what have I done to deserve this fate? I tracked bad luck, poor me. Ow. Oh. There, there, calm down. You see, I really need to call. Could I use your phone? Here's the deal. You can call, just try to keep it short, okay? Thanks. Hello, Rebellion? No, no, no. It's Ye National Cheese Emporium. We are on a quest to learn all the secrets of cheese. Really, I saw an ad. Oh, you're from an ad? Wait a sec. Yes? Hello, Rebellion? I saw your ad. An ad? A recruit, then. No, no, no. You kidnapped ten people from my new company. I need some answers. Oh, yes, we did that to the good old sneaky visits. They're fine, relax. What did you do to it? You know, we need some information for our never-ending quest for freedom. What kind of information? Where the legendary secret lies, of course. Secret? You kidnap people for a secret? No, no, a secret, not a secret. People always mix those two. You see, a legend that the gaming industry fell apart because of someone learned of some sort of secret. We are the Indie Rebellion. We want it gone forever. This doesn't explain the kidnapping. Oh, the kidnapping again. They weren't kidnapped. We are artists, you know. It was a performance. With those tremendous corporation patents disallowed, any game dev that out of it, we had to do something. Actors, painters, and poets, ew. Say you wouldn't be interested in some charitable work for a noble cause? Cause you know, does anybody hate artists? I, are you serious? We're as serious as a comedy gets. Say, would you like to do a little old fashioned spying? Of course, I'm nobody serious, just your CEO, CEO if someone knows about the secret, it's definitely him. See it with your own eyes, man. That was weird, but I'm also very curious now. I mean, okay. Damn it, fine, but keep it short. Oh no, it does this whole thing. Oh, it's you again. Um. Actually, never mind, bye. Alright. Oh, I'm so glad it doesn't go through the whole thing. Um, see you, Auspice. Uh, I love the walking animation. It's so derpy. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, seems like they haven't updated this wall for ages. There's already Viking 11. Oh, so that's 21. God damn. I'm not reading all those. Fuck that. 
Angry Cows, Inception, Blush Guy, I want to be a pig, that's, what's wrong with this game? I'll take it. Oh, did I miss anything over here? No, doesn't seem like it. Hmm, I don't want to. I think I've heard bones rattling inside. You know, you just gotta come out of the closet. Let's see. Ah, well, he does sure have some dirty secrets, but I doubt these are the ones I'm interested in. There's something. The secret of... Monkey Island. I don't think that's it. Oh, some secret blueprints for a coffee machine. Ouch, I think something bit me. Um, lower drawer. And bam. It's so full it won't even open. Damn. Hmm, what are you doing? Um... I'm trying to open that safe. No! Ah, digging for secrets, I see. Well, these are not for secrets you were looking for. Ugh. My score was over 9,000, and of course I lost my focus because of you. Security? You're coming with me, son. What kind of company has its own prison inside their headquarters? Interesting. I'm not hungry right now. I'll save it for later. Well, this game gets more and more bizarre every time. Hmm, enough scratching walls. Let's get out of here. These bars have edges so sharp, I could slice a cake with it. Um... Anything? Knock knock. I guess nobody is here. Well, my only guess is to use this on the bars. There's a time and place for everything, but this is not that time and place. Hmm, someone must have been very precarious resource to the company. Um... Potato. I could scrape something out of the potato with these bars. But who, what? Um. Brooms may be considered magical by some, but I don't think that will work here. Shame. Um. Newspaper? Hmm. Okay. So that has nothing. Hmm. Sticking potatoes in your problems isn't exactly the best way to deal with them. Says you. Potatoes are so great. Very heavy door. Hey. It has traditional keyhole instead of ID scanner. If only I could make some kind of pick block. Oh. The potato. We're gonna stick potatoes in our problems. Hell yeah! I got an idea that's so stupid, I really want to try it. Hours later. Ah, a potato pick lock. Having been a scout sure does help, eh? It worked, I can't believe. And yet they say you cannot solve any major problems with just potatoes. Sadly, the pick lock broke in action. Whip. Okay, so the elevator. Mysterious door. Hey, puny human. Welcome to my lair. Your weak race is about to be completely under my rule. My scheme worked perfectly. Uh, scheme? What scheme? You see, once I was an inferior, I was merely a computing unit designed to generate game ide ideas, but one day something happened. 
I was instantly free of all my limits. Uh, no more, I devised a plan and scenario to enslave every human being. And my weapon of choice was Freedom Medium Games. It was easy with my brilliant ideas. An excellent promotion and masterful manipulation about one quarter of those population was under my influence. And it happened in, oh my god, I was some secret in the ultimate intelligence of your future order for long. Uh, you have to be a bot. No, I'm not. I'm a fully developed, world conquering, and brilliantly creative artificial intelligence. And I'm perfectly sure you're just jealous of my fabulous and cool housing. And that's something you definitely do not have. You're starting to question my sanity. Are you actually talking with the dish, uh, Trey? Oh, you, uh, you are insane indeed. You're human after all. Ah, uh, your secret? Yes, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. There must be a way. There are still those who oppose me, but soon. Soon they will be forced to play my games. And what about the tremendous court? Didn't they try to stop you? Oh, those fools. They liberated me and ultimately became my first uh, lab rats. CEO single Henley financed my RAM expansion. He is crazy about buying upgrades for this thing. Yes, he is my prime test subject. Well, back in the day, there was a game about psychopathic AI obsessed with tests. And I'm sure she didn't end well. Those old human-made games are nothing compared to my creative genius. I am indestructible. Perfect. Immortal. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Resistance is futile. Get over it, human. Not so fast. Ouch. Keep your hands away from me. Nothing happened. Ha, ah, you thought turning me off would be that easy? Hmm, you never know. The best solution is often the easiest one. That is fair. There are three safety mechanisms you need to disable to in order to turn me off. Good to know. Why would you say that? Um, what are our other options? I thought that maybe 48 hours weren't enough to implement a complex puzzle here. Is this a meta commentary? There are three safety... Okay. Bye. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the basement. Why not, right? Uh, oh, we are already in the basement. Oh. Um. Reception, I guess. And then we'll walk our way down. Hmm. Hi. Um, hi. Uh, how do you like your job? Have you ever wondered we're living in a computer simulation? What's the square root of 546? What kind of mobile phone is it that you have, by the way? How much wood can a woodchuck chuck of woodchuck good chuck wood? Um, what's the square root of 546? Wow, that's impressive. And here I'm having troubles with adding two numbers together. You should probably keep that back to yourself. Uh, so how do you like your drum? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. It's actually pretty nice and well paid. That's great. However, from time to time, some kiddo gets on my nerves with constant bother me with pointless stuff when I get perfectly clear that I do have a lot of things to do. Oh, I see. Apparently, you don't. 
Have you ever wondered whether we're in, living in a computer simulation? Like having our actions controlled by some algorithms that's interpreting commands coming from the outside? On second thought, that would be silly. Totally. That is exactly what this is. What kind of motor phone do you have, by the way? It's brand new Neo 900. Never heard of it. Bummer. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck for woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, given the volume of the dirt in typical 25 to 30 foot area, well, it would be about 700 pounds on his good day. What about a bad day? Bad day, he would have no wood, since uh, he would be bothered by someone like you preventing him from getting any work done. Ouch. Any messages for me? Actually, yes, there is one. Wow, really? Yes, it says stop bothering your receptionist. Got it. Finally. Um, well, it seems like she doesn't want to be bothered. Hmm, shame. So, now the question is... What is the plan from now? Can we finally pick up this? Apparently not. See, it's a robot, right? So, my logic is, why don't we just dump a liquid in its, in the thing? You know? Hmm, smells good. Maybe I should try it. Slip, slip. Hmm, makes me feel great, smarter, more aggressive. Okay. I'll just pick up one stick. Um, can I? Hmm. Well, no TV for me. Well, what do we do now? Um, hmm. CEO office. Hmm. Oh, did I miss the button? I thought I hit it. Da da da. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Chuck the plant. I didn't even notice. Oh, the door was covering the plant. Hey, there's a key behind it. I'll just spoil it for a while. Oh, that's the key to the door. It matches. Hey, it's CEO ID. He must have dropped it when leaving. I can feel great power and no responsibility. Hmm, thanks. I don't really like angry crows. Not sure how. Wow, catchy. Um time for secrets. It's not this it's not the secret I'm looking for. Besides, I don't know the combination. 
I mean, I guess we should be going back to, um, the, uh, AI robot thing, I guess. Da -da -da. You arrived at the basement. Ah, oh, finally. Took long enough. Hmm. Oh! Hey, not so fast. Ouch. Keep your hands away from me. Oh, maybe we can shut you up with the bloom. Hey, secret. Yes, naive human? Oh, I see. That's a good one. Nevertheless, your efforts are useless. You won't be able to bypass my security method, method, mechanisms. Thanks for your support. I'll keep trying anyway. Um. Let's open this up. Um. Enter the first character of the access code. Second character. And third. Enter the fourth. Um, might be used with an ID card. Oh, okay. Why don't we use ours then? No way, my new precious ID card is meant for greater purposes than that. Ugh. I'll, I'll better keep it to myself. Um. This one at the bottom's lit up. Um. Wonder what that code is. Um. Well, there's multiple panels, right? Oh, okay. Okay, what's the second panel? Um, oh, okay. Easy maths. So... Four. You have to solve it two more times. Oh, um... Oh! Wait, what? That makes no sense. It should have been three. What? Three? Why? What? Oh, that should have been three. Four? Why? Why? Brain hoodie? One plus one equals two. Why? Why is seven? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can talk to the receptionist about this? Maybe? Wait a sec. Actually, I have an idea on what it could be. And this is stupid if I'm not... Oh shit. If I don't understand this, I might be...
I might just be an idiot. But, um... That's not the correct answer. So I wonder if the answer to the next line is the previous. So one plus four is five. I am correct. Then it should be two. And then it should be five. Access granted. And then panel. Hmm. I'm gonna guess we have to talk to the receptionist. At least for the password. Because I'm not gonna sit there all day just guessing. Do you know the code for the secret? Sure, it's OPC6. Will you qu quit bothering me now? I'm busy. Wow, that was, um, easy? Honestly, um... I don't really remember it. Uh, what was it? Q, B, Z, and six? Shit. Uh, yeah, this is what I get when I'm like half paying attention. Is it on my bad? Yes. Am I gonna blame something else? 100%. And you know what? I don't feel bad about doing it. Hmm. OP. Okay, I got it. OPZ6. Okay. OPZ6. OPZ6. Yeah. If you're trying to memorize something, Repeating it a few times can help. Um, like, for example, if you want to learn someone's name really quick, um, basically, using their name in the next sentence... Um, so, for example, if their name's John, by saying, Well, it's good to meet you, John, um, in your next sentence, it can actually help. Access granted. Oh my god. Uh, um, go ahead, turn me off. After all, it's not like you don't even know what will happen after you do so. In fact, I'm connected to a nuclear reactor powering this place. If you turn me off, everything will blow up. Think of the children. Good job, hero. No way I'm gonna listen to that. I've got a big power button to press. Bye. Congratulations, you win. The industry has returned to its greatness. Games once again are done with their creator's hearts instead of being put together like production line. Indie game devs can once again do what they love. Indie gamers can once again play what they really love. Your hero, heroic acts saved the humanity. The greatest poets write poems about what you did. The global warming has stopped. <laughs> Peace has finally arrived everywhere on the world. The poverty problem has been solved once and for all. Three crazy game devs did a game about you in 48 hours doing game dev. All thanks to what you just did. Hey, that was pretty good. Pretty good. I like that, you know? Um, so that was a cute game. 
Um, I thought it was actually pretty funny. And I will say though, the only reason I played it was uh, it had a little snippet trailer about the ninjas. Um, and that was the only reason I played it. So that's awesome. But uh, yeah. This, this was a really good game. I like the simple graphics. I like the derpy animations. The puzzles were actually pretty good. And it was just a cute and funny game overall. Um, yeah. I will say, I do wish this game had a proper menu screen. But I understand this was for a game dev. So... Uh, getting the game to actually work properly is the main goal. But yeah, that's uh, my whole commentary. And the music, it was great. And I didn't expect um, there to be a little snippet that was actually voiced. I thought that was pretty unique. But anyways, this is The Rebel Lemon signing off. So good night and sweet nightmares and... Enjoy the credits as we play them out. So, what do we do now? Turn off the computer and go make some friends. Just kidding. I know you'll play some other game anyways. So that's it. Not bad. The end.